I'm glad, Lainey said. Don't be, she replied, cute. It appears we're now at a dead end until you share whatever it is you're still not telling me. Yeah. Sato stepped towards him. We'll come full circle, Professor. You told me nothing I could not have learned from my own staff. And so I will ask you once more, why were you brought here tonight? What makes you so special? What is it that you alone know? We'll be through this. Lane on fire back. I don't know why this guy thinks I know anything at all. Lane was half tempted to demand how the hell Sato knew that he was in the capital tonight. But that then through that too, Sato isn't talking. If I knew the next step, he told her, I tell you, but I don't. Traditionally, the hand of the mysteries is extended by a teacher to a student. And then shortly afterwards, the hand is followed up with a set of instructions. Directions to a temple, the name of the masters who were teaching something. But all this guy dealt for us is five tattoos, heart, lane and stop So, Sato I, what is it? Lane as I shot back to the hand, five tattoos. He now realized that. What well, he was saying might not be entirely true. Professor Sato Press landing is towards the gruesome arch. Peter will point the way. Earlier, it, it crossed my mind that maybe this guy had left an object placed in Peter's palm, a map, or a letter, or a set of directions. Now, pacing his private cubicle aboard the Dacian, facilitator Nalton felt an increasing disquiet as he considered the video he was supposed to share with the world tomorrow morning. And the shade rumors had circulated that this particular client had suffered a psychotic break over the last few months. But this video seemed to confirm those rumors beyond any doubt. Now we knew he had two choices. He could either prepare the video for delivering tomorrow as promised, or he could take it upstairs to the provost for a second appeal. I already know his opinion, Nolan Thor had never witnessed a provost take any action other than the one who promised a client. He'll tell me to upload this video to the world, no questions asked, and he'll be furious at me for asking. Now we turn his attention to the video, which he rewind to a particular unsettling spot. He started the, he started the playback in the eerie, illuminated cover reappear. Accompanied by the sounds of lapping water, the humanoid shadow loom on the dripping water, a tall man with a long bird-like beak and a muffled voice, the deformed shadow spoke. Her shoulders shook with a barely contained mirth, not very James Bond in you. Spooks at five or more, stag, lots in the chaps at six. Your mind crown, it was a believable cover. One other thing before we go in, we gotta hurry to the other side of the lane. Moving can be difficult at times, a bit of a temperamental regime, I'm afraid. An English antiquarian who comes with a foreign lady. It is reassuringly patted his chest. Don't worry, Big Red. Now that I'm properly caffeinated, I'm up for the challenge. To prove her point, she pitched her coffee cup up uh, some four feet into the air. The coat. Squarely landed in the year by trash from Shepard. Same as not, feeling nearly as athletic, disposed of his half empty coffee from a more sedated distance. When the bombs dropped, please remember that the alarm was doorly sound. On the issue, he stepped in from the uh, of Eddie and opened a plate flash door. A tiny bell announced their entry into the small shop, now floor to ceiling. With the dark espresso stained books cases. In the middle of the shop were three glass display cabinet showcasing Bible prints and maps. Peter William B. Jones, a cultural female voice head. At long last, you're dying to visit your own charms of Cecil Cook. A tearly dressed blind got up from the Edwardian desk and walked over to greet them. 